Chris Hopkins with the three point attempt. No way. I love. He's not jumping so in the nine seconds of the grid for a while, but the next time game is here on the 17th of October. Hi, this is DJ Ambler Fury, the uh, MC and uh, DJ for Liverpool Basketball Club. You just seen a great game of Liverpool versus Northampton Neptunes, one of the stars, somebody returning back to the Liverpool side after a couple of years off. Point guard David Hargreaves, how did it go today? Um, it was good, team efforts, um, the team's a much better team this year, so I'd love to see more. <laughs> we've, we've lost a lot of, uh, obviously, some key individuals in the summer, but yeah. today, overall, you're saying that the team played well together as a, as a single unit? Yeah, well, a lot of people are saying last season the team may be individually stronger, but this year the team, we've got a lot more heart, more, more depth. Another welcome return as well for uh, the big man in the middle, Chris Hopkins, who's been out for a couple of years. How, how, what kind of an influence do you think he had on the game today? He's a presence on defence and on offence. He, he works hard um, and he's intimidating. Any big guy is intimidating. We've got two good big guys there with Jeff coming off the bench as well. Any other new stars coming into the side that you think are worthy of note? Um, Andy Swanson's just come down from the Seaside. He's, he's a good shooter, so, you know, we'll Watch out for him coming off screens. He'll hit an sh open shot. And, um, uh, Chiz. Chiz is just flying. His defense is amazing and he's inspiration. Excellent. So, more of the same for the rest of the season? More of the same. Hopefully, more for myself on an individual point. But the team, the win is what counts. Excellent. David, nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you. So, now with the head coach of Liverpool Basketball Club, just had a, a great victory against Northampton. Give him a good stuffing. Yeah, it was a good win for us because they're, they're, they're going to be one of the premier teams in the league and I think really the, the guys come out really ready to play and the last two goals we had against Manchester we lost by one and we came back from a, you know, a real big deficit last week and to overcome Leicester so I think the guys are set from the start are going to come out and start playing right from the start and I think we did that you know, and I think we proved we can, we're, going to be a, we're going to be a tough team this year especially to beat at home. Yeah, now I've just spoken to uh, obviously one of the, the guys who returned um, from a couple of years ago David Hargreaves and he said that uh, he feels that it's a really good team presence and a good team feeling this, this year how important is that? Well I think that's I mean it is a team game and I think you know last year you know, no, no, no disrespect to some of the guys we had um, but some of them were more I think interested in their own statistics really rather than the teams. I think this year I think it was a great point Dave made, you know, and he's one of, he's part of that. You know, um, whereas it's a team ethos now, you know, when the guys realise that, you know, they're gonna win the game, um, you know, as a team, you know, rather than as individuals, you know, whereas last year sometimes, you know, we, we, we had to lose to the individual players and sometimes we didn't come up with the win. But this year I think the guys realise they, they know the roles in the team and I think that's, that's a big difference. Now next week obviously we've got all of the games this year, you know, Division 2, England basketball, we're all going to be tough. Yeah. Um, but who, who have we got next week and uh, what, do you, what can you expect? We've got West Hearts, uh, Warriors I think at home next week, uh, we've got, I remember following them the week after I think with Hackney. So you know, I think we've got you know two athletic teams, um, but I think we're capable. I think we've got a great mixture of athletes as well as we've got some really big, strong players like Jeff and Phil. I mean, uh, Chris. You know, so I think we've got we can mix and match, and we, we you know when we won't need to be athletic, we can be. You know, and um, we've got some real good defenders and some real good athletes, but we've also got these guys steady. I mean, Chris blocked the middle up so good today. And I thought he played really, really well today. Great presence in the uh, middle of Phil Chris. Yeah, I know. Well, it's it's good. Well, it is. Yeah, it's good to have him back, especially after the injury. I mean, he had a terrible injury to his uh, leg, you know. Um, you know, we're hoping that we can bring his um, colleague in, Dave Gardner, and bring Dave in. You know, would be. I think Dave would be a great, um, you know, addition to our team. We pass on his experience, especially playing with the national team in eight, over 80 times. We pass on his experience to some of the young guys, especially in situations. You know, when you get in close games. You know, I'm really proud of the guys today because I mean they really played well. And you know, we, we're looking. I wasn't too confident at the start of the season what we are, you know, coming in. But I think the guys have proved me wrong completely. You know, I mean. It's always nice to prove the coach. Yeah, it is, you know, no, I mean, I just, I just thought we can do it. If we continue playing like we do, you know, I mean, we'll be in the shape at the end of the season. And that's what we want, you know. Henry Mooney, thank you very much. Thank you.